Internet trolls are people who comment to cause trouble or be insulting. And that's not what comment sections are for. We don't owe them any explanations as to, we don't need to, to sit there and argue endlessly with people that disagree with us. We're not there for that. Um, but the thing I hate the most is when they go one step further and tell me what I believe when I don't believe it. Anyway, I contend that the rapture will occur before the great tribulation. Jesus will come back in the clouds to take his Christians out. We have had many tribulations. The world has tribulations. That's not what I'm talking about. The great tribulation is something different. Um, things will get worse probably this year. Even if you know, we're, we are here, I believe we will not, still not be in the great tribulation. Not everyone agrees with the same doctrine regarding the rapture. I get that. We have heard all the arguments. I don't agree with what trolls are saying or doing on our channel here. But I don't go into their sites and go, stop preaching now. Like I have been told. I can understand people who tell me uh, to wear a tinfoil hat or saying I'm delusional. That's just the natural man talking. They're non-Christians. They don't know any better. I can deal with that. Trolling activity does not bother me a lot personally. But it does potentially marginalize and disrupt everything we're trying to do here. And I would never disrupt anyone from presenting the gospel to those who need Jesus in the name of some unrelated doctrine that, oh, I just can't stand you having that, so I need to open my mouth about it. And if you think about it, that's pretty cowardly. Hiding behind internet anonymity to disrupt an otherwise happy group. You know, would we go running into a place of worship and scream, stop preaching, stop preaching? I don't have time for doctrinal squabbles over the rapture or a lot of other things. The most important thing right now is to win the loss to Christ. Jesus is the only way to heaven. Is it more important for him them to, to hear about other views on the rapture or, or any other Bible doctrine crusade at that time? It's just those who spend their time arguing about Bible versions or paraphrase Bibles. Some even comment to argue about something that I already agree with. Focus on the gospel. Time is too short for that nonsense. That's not productive. What if somebody doubts the whole Bible because these trolls, who they got to insert themselves in the middle of these messages in the comment section? And they will. People will see that. And they'll say, well, it's, it's really up in the air because there's a lot of arguing going on here. So I started my own channel for you guys. Anyone else can do the same thing. They can start their own channel. And what if somebody would have received Jesus but was turned off by some petty argument again? Is that what the trolls really want? Are they non-Christians who just come on there and do that? What's it, what's it to them? All I can say is, if you're listening, accept Jesus right now. You will not regret it. Show me somebody who regrets accepting Jesus, and I'll show you somebody who never really accepted him in the first place. But I doubt if you're going to be able to find anybody like that. And after you accept Jesus by praying and asking him to forgive your sins, and allow you to, 
to be in heaven with him. Read the Bible and do what he wants you to do. And that's only going to help you out as you go. So who am I to tell you this stuff? I'm nobody. I'm just another sinner who needs Jesus. But I do know this. The Bible is real. Jesus is real. Heaven and hell are real. If you're not, if you've not given this any thought, it's time to wake up right now and settle this. So if you, if you want to help this channel, share it on your local media, like, and subscribe to the videos and, and mention in the comment section, if you will, if you want me to block trolls from commenting on these videos or let them say whatever they want. Asking questions is fine. Being respectful is fine. But that's not what I'm seeing a lot of the time. And if we if we do block them or hide the, the, their comments, as they call it, they would still be able to see the videos. Now, another consideration, interestingly, the high number of comments does help the channel as far as the algorithms. So if they're seeking to stop it, maybe they're actually helping it by being on there all the time and then arguing endlessly. So, and I'm going to leave a lot of these replies up to you guys because you're answering them better or more effectively than I would to begin with. So, and I don't need to double down on what I said. If I, if I didn't agree with this video that I'm producing, I'd just delete it. So God bless you and have a good one.